Hello, hello everyone, my name is Laura, this is my channel Laura's Little Library, and welcome to today's video, which is my October bullet journal. As you can see, my candles are starting to run low, which is very exciting because that means then soon I will be able to buy more. So this month for my theme, I chose to do a haunted house theme. I thought it would be perfect for Halloween. It's mostly kind of a cartoonish, wacky haunted house with ghosts and other creepy elements throughout this spread. I was really proud of this title page. I did find inspiration from it on Pinterest, just various different haunted house cartoon designs and ghosts. Um, I decided to keep it somewhat simple as as you may know from other videos I am not the most artistically inclined but I thought I'd take a risk and do something very big and I would say it paid off. And as usual, the first spread in the month after my title page is my calendar. I use this to track what books are coming out throughout the month, what readathons are happening that I want to participate in. October is a very, very busy month, especially in terms of readathons, as well as my own uh, spooky season spectacular that I'm hosting. So. It's just a place for me to see everything that's happening all at once throughout the month so I know what to plan for and come up with and all those different fun things like that. Next up is my TBR spread and one month I did it where I set it up as three different shelves and I really liked that. I think it's something that I am carrying through for all of my bullet journal TBR spreads um, and just theming the various items that go on the shelves rather than trying to come up with some whole new concept every month for what I am going to use as the background for my TBR. Normally, I would divide it up with physical books on my shelf, audiobooks that I have, and books I want to read at some point throughout the season. However, because October is special, I just have a huge TBR, and so it's not quite as organized as it used to be, but I was really proud of how that cat turned out, by the way. I'm just going to throw that out there. And then next to my TBR is where I start having all of my readathon spreads. So I start off with my own spooky season spectacular, divide it into the weeks and the themes of the weeks, the dates and the books I'm reading, etc. And so forth and how many points I acquire. Now I have these next two pages, I'm leaving them open because they are for readathons. I already have two readathons I know I'm going to participate in, but I needed to gather more details on those first before I really put in all the information, so I'm doing that later. 
And then we have my books read page, and this one, again, I'm pretty proud of. So it's the haunted house, and the ghost will represent all the books that I've read throughout the month. So I will just write in, in the ghost the ones. I might sort them by star rating, have one ghost be like a four-star ghost, the other be a five-star ghost, etc. and so forth. But that really just depends on the books I read throughout the month, if that is possible. And next to that, as usual, I have my rankings and books to buy page. This is where I keep track of my top three favorite books of the month, as well as the worst book I read in the month. Um, just so that when I am trying to think back on my favorite books of the year and things like that, I can look at these spreads rather than reading through all of my reviews. And below it, it shares the space with the books to buy. I have a $30 book budget every month, so this is where I keep track of what books I want to buy, books that are coming out, series that I want to buy the rest of the books in, etc. and so forth. And then here you can see that I just didn't do much for my bookish social media. I had some issues filming a little bit here. My camera just stopped working a little bit. I don't know why. But it's the same as what I've previously done. They don't change very much. So now we can just do a little flip through. I'm really happy with how the spread came out. I think it was minimal, but it gets the theme across and it was just a lot of fun to do and put together and all right that is it if you like this video please give it a thumbs up comment down below what themes you do for october if you keep a bullet journal Feel free to subscribe, I make videos twice a week, and until I see you all in the next video, I wish you happy reading!